cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Imagine this, hundreds of dollars in toll violations that you receive but belong to someone else. Hillary Viegas is fed up because someone is using her old temporary tag and they've racked up $1,500 in tolls so far. And she says authorities simply won't help her. That's when she knew she better call Bankin. Eight on your side, investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. This is like trying to prove a negative here, like I didn't do it. That's, and mm -hmm. that's where she's trapped. And the frustration she's feeling here is unreal. This is a young lady with her first job. She's working to buy a house, but someone is working. Working just as hard to ruin her credit. And if you have a temporary tag, I've discovered this can happen to you. But sometimes they just flood in three, four in, a, in one envelope in one day. Somebody is racking up toll violations in Hillary Viegas's name. I don't like to check the mail. The bills come from Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, and right here in Tampa. This nightmare started in October, right after she bought this Toyota Camry. But the closer I looked at the, the image, I realized it was my license plate, but it couldn't be my license plate because it was on my car. The tag number in all of these violation photos is Hillary's temporary tag, the one she shredded and replaced with a permanent one from the DMV. And this seven passenger white van is clearly not her Camry. Trying to establish my life here in Tampa, and it's just no one will help me. The police won't help me. Easy Pass won't help me. The DMV won't help me. Hillary spends countless hours disputing these charges. I am in no way responsible for that. So she knew she'd better call Bankin, and I called the DMV to find out why they can't stop this madness. She can't seem to make it stop. She says she disputes one, it goes away, two more show up. I was promised an investigation. Meanwhile, Hillary fears what the person in the white van is really up to. This person literally drives across the same bridge about four or five times a week at the same time. Hmm. And I, I can tell by the amount of toll violations. So you can tell law enforcement exactly where to go to get the person doing this, but they're not interested. Yes. A spokeswoman for the DMV assured me that they are working to get to the bottom of this, and I will stay on top of this story until Hillary's issue is fixed, and as long as these bills keep showing up in the Bay Area. Well, and it sounds like Hillary is doing all the detective work here, she trying is. to tell them this is the area they travel. How widespread a problem is this? Well, for Hillary, she has delivered this case on a silver platter to law enforcement, and I know that they're working on it. This is the second call that I've had in the past two weeks of people complaining about the same issue, and I've discovered that authorities in other states are investigating temporary tag fraud as well. And as we know with many of your stories, once you put it on the air, it creates a tipping point. You'll That's get right. more calls. So. Call me. <laughs> yeah, in fact, if you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin, the number 1-855-BANKIN.